Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Game and Pie, and this is Minecraft Part 11. Ah, uh, yes, doing some late night Minecraft, and this seems, sort of seems like this has become a thing nowadays, where it's like I do a full Let's Play and then I do a Minecraft episode, because, like, Minecraft, man. So, yeah, I've been playing the, uh, I actually figured out that Minecraft does work on my PC. So I've been playing that version for a while now, and uh, I've been comparing what goes on in that version with what goes on in this version, and, um, you know, I wouldn't really say that any version is better than another, personally, um, well, actually, I guess the modern version is better to an extent, because it just has more stuff. You know, as a later version of the game should. Yeah, it's got this one thing, it's got like this food meter. And, um, basically over time, it, as you're doing things, the food meter empties. And, uh, if it's at like full or like just missing one little chicken leg thing, then you'll automatically recover health. But uh, if it's lower than that, you're going to be losing health instead. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, originally, I thought that it would be really annoying because, you know, in this version, uh, if you're, like, perfect at the game and you never get hit or anything, you can pretty much go throughout the entire game without having to ever use food items. Whereas in the modern version of the game, I mean, it really doesn't matter how good you are at the game, eventually you're going to have to use a food item, because if you wait too long, then you'll start starving to death. And that's no good. But, um, actually, the way it does in the modern version, uh, I'd say it actually works better, to an extent. Because, in that way, uh, I don't know, just something about the fact that you're self-healing... as long as your food meter is high enough. That, uh, that really helps the game, I'd say. Now, it's not as quick as self-healing in, say, some sort of modern FPS game, but it's something, it helps. So, yeah, just exploring the cave here some more, because, you know, we just don't do that often enough, and this appears to be an area that I have explored some, but not fully. Let's just put this here, so that I can actually move around. But, uh, yeah, I've been playing the computer version. I've got a really cool world in there, which... You won't be getting to see anytime soon. Because, uh... Well, I don't have any way to record my computer. So, yeah. None of that. But, you know, maybe if one day... I, uh, find a way to record my computer... You guys will be able to see that world. Because I've been doing some pretty cool stuff in that one. It's been alright. Uh, I've been in kind of a Minecraft mood lately, mainly because uh, my friend that I mentioned last episode got it, and we've been doing stuff in his Minecraft world, and his his was pretty cool, and so, oh my gosh, another creeper. Creepers have been oddly cooperative, like, the moment that they start fizzing and getting ready to explode, they just step back so that you're out of their explosive range. I don't know if they're just programmed to do that now, or... Oh, hey. But it's just been very convenient. I mean, oh sure, they still explode, and they, you know, destroy stuff, but they're not hurting me, so what do, how do, what do I have to complain about? <laughs> Well, unless they end up exploding on something that I care about, in which case, no, no, Creeper, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> but, yeah, basically, 
there is a t actually a topic for this episode. It's not just something random. And basically, it's something that's been going through my mind lately, alright? So, I'm gonna assume that most of my viewers are probably familiar with the Let's Players Josh Jepson and Attacking Toucans. Now, here's the thing. They have an interesting relationship that, um, you know, if you watch their Let's Plays and Verses together, you'll often find that they frequently insult each other and such. And this seems to be, like, a thing. Well, like, people who are really good friends are able to insult each other because they're friends or something. And, you know, I see this not, not just with these guys, but with a lot of people, actually, and it makes me ju just sort of wonder why. Like, like you know, I, I, can, I can see that, you know, being friends means that you can do that with each other, but why would you? This is your friend you're talking about. It's kind of... kind of weird. I mean, I guess the closest thing that I really have to it is, um... Austin, he'll, he'll often go on like, oh yeah, you know, I, I think this way, but you know, I'm just kind of weird like that. And I've kind of picked it up, and it's sort of become like an in-joke with us. It's like, oh yeah, Austin's just really weird. <laughs> but, um, you know, I guess, I guess a good example of what I'm really talking about is I had this friend, and her name was Crystal. And we were friends, we hung out at lunch together back whenever I was in high school. And um, one day, eventually, she told me that, uh, you know, normally, since we've known each other this long, we're still friends, I would start, like, cussing at you and stuff, but I just can't do that with you for some reason. And, you know, that that's certainly appreciated, I, I let her know that. <laughs> but it just sort of made me wonder, like, it's not like, um, well, she does that? <laughs> there are people who just sort of do that. They, like, cuss to their friends and stuff. That just doesn't, like, compute with me for some reason. But, uh, yeah, I've just sort of been thinking about that. The relationship between people that use insulting each other and you know, like, being kind of rude to one another as a sign of friendship. How do you guys think that that works? Like, um... Why do you... Do any of you do that with your friends? You know, why... Why do you do that with your friends, if that's the case? Um... How does that work out for you? <laughs> and... This actually kind of brings me to another similar topic. It's the idea that, um, you know, there, there are people that are young, like, like young guys, and they'll be rude to girls supposedly because they like them. Now, this has never made any sense to me. Like, even whenever I was a little kid, there were, like, these guys... They were being a, a total total jerks to this girl, and um, I just wasn't having any of it. It's like, no, guys, that's not what you do. But it's just it's just kind of odd. Like, why? Well, why do people hurt the things that they love? What is with all these monsters and stuff? Oh dear, and I've just gotten myself lost, I think. Oh wait, no, I haven't. Here we go. Yeah, let's just get out of here. I don't know, make it daytime or something. But yeah, that, that was the main topic that I was just sort of wanting to talk about for this episode. <laughs> and I guess... I don't really have a whole lot to say on it, other than the fact that 
I don't understand it, and I never really have understood it. It is something that is beyond my comprehension. Like an alternate reality or something. <laughs> do I have any meat that has not been properly cooked yet? Oh wow, I do. I, I actually have quite a bit of meat that has not been cooked. I'll just go ahead and do some of this. Just use wooden planks to conserve on uh, burning material. Oh, there's still another piece of coal in there. Well, let's just take that out and add it to this for the moment. But yeah, just being mean to people in general hasn't really ever been something that I've been interested in doing. Like, you'll, um... I guess one example could be pranking. Like, pranking in general is seen as like a harmless, silly activity. But I don't know, I just never really got like the hang of it. And really it all comes down to whenever I was like a little kid, I was, I was something of a prankster, sort of. Like, none of my pranks were good. They didn't really do anything. Quite ineffectual, really. But then, um, one day I was just a little, there was just a little squirt, and I was, uh, sitting in the bathtub, and I was thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna prank my dad, and it'll be so funny. I'll, I'll tell him that there's a snake in the bathtub, and that'll really freak him out and stuff. And, uh, it did freak him out, but not in, like, a good, funny way. It was... It jarred him a lot. <laughs> and my dad tends to get very emotional about stuff. He is a very emotive father. And, um... I just found that that wasn't funny. Making people scared, freaking them out about stuff. I just didn't get any sense of joy out of it. And so, I basically just sort of threw pranking away forever. <laughs> like, not not even things like April Fool's. I don't even really do that stuff since then. And, um... I don't know. Maybe, once again, people in the comments. How do you prank? <laughs> how do you prank well? Because that's never something that I bothered figuring out after that moment. Because if... If pranking is supposed to be something that you get joy out of, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> At least not anymore. I don't know. It just sort of brings me back to previous moments in the past, because, you know, that's where previous moments tend to be. I don't know. Maybe previous moments could be in the future. I think that there's a theory about that or something. <laughs> Some sort of scientific theory about that. Like, time is curved or something. Admittedly, while I am into science, that isn't exactly something of which I fully comprehend. Gee whiz, it's like this episode is all about things that I don't comprehend. So, you know, I'm feeling adventurous today. Let's go explore something. Let's go run around and find something insane. Like this big area over here. We have not explored any of this. This could be interesting. Are you ready to go on an adventure, everyone? It's adventure time! And so on and so forth. So yes, we have a nice little foresty area around here. It seems that, um... In the modern version of Minecraft, there are these things, they're called biomes. I believe this version does have biomes. 
but they're not as pronounced as they are in the current version of the game. Like, in the current version, there are more types of trees. And, uh, there's often more snow, there's different types of ground and grass and such, and so it makes it easier to tell what a biome is. And it, you know, it's just not working at all, is it? Let's try this. Like, you know, it's pretty obvious that my, uh, my base is right next to a forest. That's what the big tree area is. But, uh, in the modern version, there would be, like, a specific type of forest. There would be certain trees and various plants that you couldn't find anywhere else. It would be all really cool and stuff. Oh my. Oh, do I have another shovel? Yes, I do. So yeah, we didn't even explore very far yet, and we've already found something pretty cool over here. Nice little cave area. Got some iron to work with. Can always use more iron. Always. And... Alright, this works. Hmm. Oh dear, not you. Bring it! Uh-oh. I have just run out of sword. If I see one more enemy, I'm booking it. Uh-oh. That's a spider. But it does not appear to be, like, anywhere I can see. Which is odd. Well, it looks like I've cleared out this little mini-cave. Wasn't much of a cave, but hey, not every cave has to be huge. It was a nice little micro-adventure. So, yeah, uh, I guess I should mention some stuff about the Summer Spectacular. Because, well, we're about to enter that, really. I made a whole video about it that before this one. And uh, here's the rundown. All right, I've I've gone over most of the projects that will be happening within said spectacular. However, uh, just giving you more of a time idea of what's going on. All right, so Jordan and I have already recorded a decent amount of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, but to make sure that we have enough episodes to go through the uh, Screw Attack Gaming Convention, which, during which we probably won't be like recording or editing stuff. Um, we're going to be uploading those not this week, but next week. We're gonna that's whenever we're gonna start uploading that stuff. So you can expect that then. Um, as for Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door Versus, um, we well George George isn't out of school yet, but he will be later this week. As for when we'll actually start recording that that's a little more questionable. I don't know, maybe first day he's out, he'll be like, oh my gosh, Thomas, let's record a thing, and I'll be like, oh my gosh, George, yeah, let's do that. 
or maybe he'll say, you know, man, I just want to take a break for a few days. We'll record it later, and I'll be okay, because that's totally understandable. School is tiring, <laughs> and sometimes you just need a break from it. As for the stuff with Austin, I have even less of an idea. Like, you know, um, the, the Sonic CD episodes are mostly in his control. Uh, I believe that at this point, he's nearly done, like, recording stuff for them, so that's nice. I guess you can expect them in a period of time. <laughs> And as for the other Sonic episode, as for the other Sonic games that I'll be doing, that'll happen eventually. I'm not exactly sure whenever I'm going to start recording them, but it'll be soonish, maybe. Um, I don't know if I'll be recording or uploading the Sonic episodes during Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, or if I'll start doing them after that, but it'll be at a time. That, I assure you. See, what do you know? I was out in the middle of the night, and I didn't die. Isn't that just convenient? Uh, spider. Oh, wait, yeah, I need a new sword. Hmm. Maybe I'll make an iron sword. Earlier I said, early in, early in the series, I said that an iron sword wasn't really worth it, but you know what? I think I might just go ahead and make one. Mainly just for more durability. There we go. Oh, and there's a... Yeah, spider. Alright, spider, just give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'm putting my mushroom in here. Just need to chill out for a second so that I can come out here and murder your face off. There we go. Your face is now sufficiently murdered. Alright, so let's continue our exploration. And let's go this way this time. Go past our little greenhouse area because... It's a greenhouse area, and I want to look at it because it's cool. And oh, hey, look, here's a skeleton. Oh yeah, the enemies in the in the ner in the new version of the game—they're a lot smarter. Like skeletons will stand, and other monsters will stand under trees and try to snipe you from over there, so that they don't um, die in the sunlight. Because after all, only direct sunlight can kill them. And if they're under a tree, well, that, that's not direct sunlight anymore. Quite annoying, that. Oh, this isn't... I thought it was going to lead me into a cave. Uh, does this lead me into... No, it doesn't. But that might. Oh wait, no, it doesn't. Not really. Nope. No caves here. At least not that, no significant caves. But still, this is a very interesting um, land formation. Very glad that we got to see this. I think I hear some sort of monsters around here somewhere. Oh, hey, look, there's... There's a... okay. Hmm. Maybe there's darkness over here. Yeah, this looks pretty dark. This looks pretty cavey. Except it's not really a cave. This is just really weird with all these little alcoves. Like, what's going on, man? Oh. Yeah, that was a bit of a harsh fall. Uh, 
just the peacefulness of Minecraft. You just gotta love it. Oh, that looks like a cave over there that I haven't explored yet. This is certainly interesting. This looks like a stairway. But a stairway to where is the question. Like, no, seriously, that looks like something that I would have made. Wow. This is a lot of trees. Seriously, let's look out on the world from this tree. Look at all this stuff. This is amazing. It's just beautiful. And to think that it's all just a bunch of blocks. Oh. People who think that you need photorealistic graphics to make a good game... Ah, uh, yes, they really don't know what they're mess what they're missing out on. Oh wow. This is a snowy biome now, because you can it's got the snow. Wow, that's sudden, but it's also really small. Like like all this stuff here, this is an icy biome, but it's barely like it has barely any space. That's very interesting right there. Look at all these roses. This is beautiful. Ooh. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll, um like, update my game to the modern version. But, until then, I mean, this is basically like the only series of this version of the game anymore, since everybody's upgraded to the current version. So, I'll probably keep it at this version, for now at least. On top of that, uh, I don't exactly have a way of connecting my Xbox to the internet right now, so yeah, I kind of need to do that for an update. Oh, and there's more of this snowy biome over here. That's cool. Also, I don't have my compass on me, do I? Oh, hamsters. Well, time to make it back home, somehow. Uh, do I have any of my redstone? No, I don't. And I don't have any of my iron, either. So, I couldn't exactly just make a compass on hand. I probably should have thought about this a little bit better. Oh, well, at least I have a general idea of where I'm going. It's not like it's becoming nighttime all around me or anything. Ooh, cave. Uh, oh my gosh, cows! Gee whiz. Oh. Well, that was easy to find. Just my greenhouse right there. I don't think I've seen my greenhouse from above before. Cool. It's a nice little glass box. Oh, yeah, and... In the modern version, they've got all these different types of seeds and stuff, and a lot of different, a lot of new food items. So that's all real cool. Hmm. Looks like some of those crops are ready for harvesting. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna head on home. 
before ending this episode right there. Because I think that this has been a pretty good episode, you know? Exploring the super cave. Exploring other places. Talking about being kind to people. It's been a good time. And gee whiz, this is taking a while to save. Did we really do that much? Alright, there we go. So, let's just head on back home and call it a vid, shall we? How... what time of the day is it, anyway? I can't see the sun anywhere. Oh, oh, there it is. Alright, so it's... it's like the afternoon or something. Well, folks, I've been Mr. Game and Pop, and this has been a nice little episode of Minecraft. I hope that you've enjoyed, and uh, you all stay sufficiently awesome, alright? Alright. See y'all later.